genitals. Tricks up our sleeves, huh? Hey, <laughs> just a nightclub singer with a broken heart. I still you love you, too. Get a hold of yourself. You're in over Can your you head and you're up there. Damn. Jimmy! God damn it. The fuck you doing? Nothing. Really? Because I keep hearing a math for like this, a cop that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole! I can't believe you did that! That's my TV! You don't talk to me like that! I can't believe you... Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole! Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah! No! I just... Want you to do something besides sit there eating? Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Uh, bike ride, then. Bike ride? Y you want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Uh, fuck me. A bike ride along the Spucci Beach? Uh, okay, Dad. I got just the thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. I'm going gray listening to this crap. Station change. Oh, hell yeah. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. How Jimmy. am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-based? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years. But that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Gym later? Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force a habit. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. Hey, you. Two bikes. Take your pick. This one'll do. Hey! If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big-ass new flat screen. Jesus! Oh! I'm 
about to pass out. When I wake up, please let this nightmare be over. Jesus. It's your fault! If you like the beach so much, bury yourself out here! It's like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Look, if you do go, don't... Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you got a killer pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Hey, Let's go. Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey. No. Hey. Shit, hey, cool, Daddy. man. Dude, dude, what are you doing? Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, man. I like him. What's the problem? You're such a Ask jerk. Him. Come on. Dad, you dumbass. These guys are serious. Yeah, well, so am I. Who's causing the scene of my fucking boat? Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Shit! They're coming after us! Go into the outlet! If you say so, Trace. if we keep going this way. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. 
Well, since when the TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad! It's Los Santos! Get away from them! Hey, turd buckets! If you kill us, you'll be jailed, and the sea shark will be impounded! Looks like this is the way out! my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you sent him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life.
some training, what? I'm free next Thursday. Hello? Is anyone there? Do I want to go to snack with you? I can hear you breathing. You like it rough, baby? Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? 
I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. Then you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean... I need something done, you need to know something, so... Why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Oh, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this, uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right.
Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Goodbye. Babe, call my assistant. We'll set something up. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you wanna run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks about up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I... I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Oh, you've been added on this PC. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Rocking out might get you in the right headspace. Almost cracked it. Ugh, I need to write some product, bro -heem. I'm feeling the itch. Bear with me, all right? You wanna take a break for some air guitar? Give me the wink, bro. Give me a second, will you? There you go. How about I run the antivirus software? And now we scan. There it goes. Might I tempt you with some organic chow or a fair trade java? Hmm. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Send me the
Oh, nice. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. Bye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ah, ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. Uh, Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it! If I drown in mucus, it's your fault, you illiterate effing thieves! Let me get the door for you. Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Domed! I domed ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Now, ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24 seven. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. 
you could be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. At around this point in my presentation, there was meant to be a call for my product team to introduce the device, but we're experiencing some technical difficulties. I hate to keep you waiting any longer, but trust me, it's worth it. And don't worry, I will fire several people for this. Tears are coming down your face. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey, this company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway. Oh, hold on a second. Fuck you. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Hello? Oh! Ah, dirty. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, no, no. Whoa! That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. <laughs> 